I was in foster care since I was born. My grandmother was a licensed practical nurse. My grandfather wasn't working. He was unemployed. He was a painter and he'd been laid off. This is all written in my records. But they viewed that my grandmother, had she been at home doing her job, she wouldn't have these girls getting pregnant. You know, once again, some black family not taking care of their family, the narrative that, that's being put out there. Deep, steeped racism in terms of how we as black people were perceived. The narrative of that my mother was despondent. I was retarded. The people that are evaluating me was, well, he's retarded because he's not responding to anything. Like we're throwing a ball in front of him and he's not responding. And so it said in the records, well, he won't be eligible for adoption. He'll just have to be in foster care. That characterization, no effort to support my grandmother, my mother, me. If there's one thing I give my foster mother credit for is when I was four years old when I moved in, she turned on the television and I scoot up right in front of the screen like this and goes, she pulls me back and says, boy, can you see that screen? I said, no. You need some glasses. That's what's wrong with you. You know, just saying you're retarded and you need some glasses. She went and got me glasses and I shot off like a rocket. Black people, that's the experience, that's the narrative that many of us have. And that's what drives me. I don't want folks to have that experience. I want people to be uplifted, nurtured, and supported, have options and opportunities. I spent most of my career in community development ran a nonprofit that provided business training to minority contractors. I've come to believe that the system, it's a brutally racist economic system. Governments and religious institutions, they systematize benevolence. They give us a little piece. We should be thankful for it. The only way we're gonna break it is if we set new systems and do it ourselves through organizations and businesses that we run. You know, we do it the right way. We respect people, we pay them well. We build our institutions to serve people in the way that really helps them. What makes a difference? What makes people thrive? What makes organizations thrive, whether business or nonprofit? Respect, love, and grace. If we really embrace what those words mean, I think it can make a world of difference. Thank you.